Welcome back. In the previous part, the two boys we've seen around town have headed over to the castle. And they haven't returned. Which is just utter foolishness. So, let's see about heading out here towards said castle and seeing about rescuing them. This fog has got me rather worried, truth be told. Hopefully it doesn't hang around here for too long. I see the orbital boat has been prepared. My lady. Yes, we just finished getting it ready for your departure. So this is an orbital boat, huh? Looks kind of fun. This hardly seems like the time to be getting excited for a boat ride. I've operated orbital boats before, so I'll steer us to our destination. All right. We'll leave it to you then. My lady, please wait. I still feel that we ought to be the ones going out and searching. You shouldn't have to trouble yourself with matters like these. I appreciate your concern. As the Viscount's daughter, I feel this is a part of my duties to the people of Legram. It also happens to fall under the scope of our field study. Can't deny that. We'll do all we can to support her. You needn't worry. Very well. Doubt there's anything more I can say that didn't get you to change your mind. The last patrol of the castle was just a few days ago, and there was no sign of anything unusual then. Shouldn't be that dangerous. Hmm, really? The wind blowing from the direction of the castle does feel pure. Said that the castle's atmosphere is cold and clear due to its connections with St. Sandlot and the Eisenritter. It's highly uncommon for monsters to settle there. So the children are most likely safe. Although it's impossible to rule out that an accident may have befallen them. Either way, need to get over there and find out as soon as possible. Indeed, we should depart at once. Is everyone ready to depart? After departing for Lowengrin Castle, you've been able to return to town while your investigation is underway. Depart. You're ready when you are. Please take care, my lady. I and the other students will be waiting your safe return. <laughs> Thank you. I promise that whatever's out there, we'll take care of it. Okay, okay, let's get the show moving. I guess Milliam's liking it. What do you think is waiting for us inside the castle? So, you passed out on the couch the moment we returned to the guild, but now you're simply popping with energy. Milliam, you know this isn't a game, right? I know, I know. But as long as Lammy's with us, there's nothing to worry about. Let's just grab those kids so we can go exploring. Um, Milliam? Ah, she doesn't seem nervous in the slightest. Very strange bell. Did you guys just hear a bell? Yeah, it came from the direction of the castle. Ah, well, Lowengrin Castle does have a bell tower. As far as I'm aware, access to it has been sealed off. Um, then who's ringing it? Bell tolling at night in the old stronghold of the Eisen Ritter. We'd best be prepared for anything. Almost there. Let's make sure we're prepared before we head ashore. Like, you know, if I was these guys, I'd very much be like that case of maybe it's the kids. They found the bell, they're trying to alert the town to where they are sort of things like that would be possible well here we are hey do you think that's the boat the children took i can't imagine who else it would be at least they appear to have reached the castle safely and it's safe to assume they went inside as well it's well past sundown now we need to find them as soon as we can It looks like that path will take us up the cliff. Right, that path will take us to the castle's entrance. Mind your footing, though. The night is dark and full of ter and the trail uneven. Just, just head straight up then. So this is Saint Sandlot's old stronghold, Lowengrin Castle. This is the first time I've come here at night. Be careful of your footing. There's the town over there. It's just it's lovely. Shouldn't we see something of Sutherland from this direction? You'd think. 
maybe it's the mist and the fog and all that type of stuff is like making it so we can't see. Which again, possible. Lohengrin Castle. So this is Lohengrin Castle. The ancient stronghold of Saint Sandlot. Gathering place of the warriors of old. It looks even more beautiful up close. Yeah, but what's up with that weird glow? I've been here several times before, but I've never seen it like this. I can sense a very strange wind blowing from within. It doesn't feel like monsters, though. Hmm? I can feel it, too. Like something is writhing around inside. Wait! What kind of something? Ghosts. I feared as much. I can definitely sense the presence of the dead. Zombies. Emma? I'm alright, but we're going to need to tread carefully in there. Right. There's no telling what may happen when we venture inside. We should make certain we're ready before entering. I like that it gives me the options. Like, where am I going to go? Like... I'm just wondering if there's extra dialogue. I'm like, why are we returning down here? We're meant to be going inside. Like, Reen, we're going the wrong way. It's like, we're going back to town. But the children, Reen, we're going to leave them here. Let them die. Like, Reen... Can't do that. See, like, what, what, what would be the, like? Just go straight in. You can't really do anything at all, unless there's a boss fight waiting for us the second we go through that door, which, again, is actually entirely possible. Something very strange happening here. Let's make sure we're ready for whatever we may find inside. Should we go in right away? Yes. So there's a fight coming then. That's the only explanation. Because I honestly can't remember. Lovely windows. Ah! It won't budge. Did the door just seal itself shut on its own? Give it a go. Well, that was unexpected. No! So not even Air Getlam can break us out of here? It appears that there's a barrier in place. What kind of barrier? Are you talking about that strange symbol that appeared on the door for a moment? How would you know something like that, Emma? Well, I've always had a pretty strong sixth sense about these kinds of things. So sometimes I can sense things that aren't visible to the naked eye. A uh, sixth sense? Hmm. Fascinating. Come to think of it, this isn't the first time you've reacted strangely to unusual phenomena. Eustace has a point. I've heard that people from the church can make use of some strange powers. So are you a sister of the church or something? Uh, I'm kind of the opposite. Uh, you got me! I've always been a big supporter of the church! I'm not sure what you're getting at. Emma, just... who are you? Ah! What's that sound? It's the bell we heard earlier! Something's approaching to the left, and the right! Monsters, is it? No. These are no ordinary beasts. But we're going to have to fight them all the same. There we go. Very well. I will serve as your opponent. I'll handle this. Still not... <clears throat> noble Now's Command, I feel, is the Don't right way to go. Like, again, it's Sam. Just doing a little playing around with Yusus and trying go. to think of... Good stretch for him, because I'm looking at the all Motivate. Right, let's do this. I'll handle this. That's the strength maxed out. We don't want that on Laura, do we? Yeah. 
So at the same time, if we did... <clears throat> what can we do with you, really, in terms of... So it's like, mm, I really should, actually. Because Laura's quite powerful. Just make sure that we get rid of that. Yeah. You have my thanks. Of course. So, yeah, you know, if, if she had at that point Fortuna, that would be the ATS maxed out. And then if Reen had something like the Chrono, he'd be done. Like we'd be done, and like you, you know, you know, it's just that idea of getting a good balance. No escape. My turn. Because like, at this point, like I could do the Noble Command again. Now is our chance. Don't Takes let it the pass. ATS up, yeah. but I wouldn't have needed to really. We just need the Chrono aspect. Hmm. We'll cut our own path. Looks like we beat them. <laughs> Are you all right, Milliam? Oh, what were those things? Mysterious spirits. Though perhaps it would be more appropriate to call them fiends. Either way, they were no ordinary opponents. The higher elements seem to be present here as well, and I suspect that's true of the whole castle. Yeah, it did feel that way. Though I'm still not sure what the ringing bell from earlier has to do with anything. <sighs> this place seems to be even more dangerous than we could have anticipated. And as long as that barrier remains in place, so will we. We're going to need to search for a way out. Okay, Emma. It looks like we're going to need to rely on this sixth sense of yours in order to navigate this castle safely. You don't have to tell us anything if you're not comfortable. Right now, our safety is in your hands. Can we count on you? Yes, of course. All right, then time is of the essence. With fiends like those roaming the castle, I'm even more worried about the children. True. We should start looking right away. We're going already! Can't we rest here a little longer? No, because they may be in danger. <laughs> Those fiends scare the strength right out of your legs? No! That's totally not it! You're more than welcome to stay here and wait. <laughs> His voice. Oh, waiting by myself would be even worse! <laughs> All right. Let's see what we can find. Right. Emma can now use the S-Craft. Lord Alberi Al Alberion. Alberion. Alberion? Not entirely sure. Right, let's, let's have a little play around here. This is like, because I've been talking about it, I feel like we should actually do this. So we get rid of Fortuna there. It's like... I should probably change this up. If I'm going to go more... Hmm... Hmm. Mirage could be good. Should I think like what's best to him in terms of like that's staying on Emma. That's staying on Emma. Healing arts. Offensive arts. Offensive arts deal critical damage. It's like. Hmm. I could give him Raven. Although again the speed is like I don't really need that there. Ooh. It's just that case of like, I don't, this is the thing, it's like I want to, it's not so much that I'm making him the buffer, it's that I'm spacing everything out at this point, so it's like, what could I take from here? It's like, I like Water Bell because the half delay on the water here, so that's good there. It's that I'd like to get rid of. That I could replace with a different buff. It's like, yeah, I'd, I'd like to have the strength buff out there, but it's like a case of like, which one of these would you take out? Cast, action, EP cut? It's like, oh, that's a tough one to take out. So I'm thinking, you got your Quinn in there, you got your attack. I don't really need Septium that much anymore, really. So I'm actually thinking, it seems strange, I know, but... You could throw out the buff, because because we're, get, we're getting from uses here. Can I see, like, I want to see his skills. 
here we are. So we're getting a strength, ATS, and speed from him straight off. Then we come around, like say to Laura. That's when we'll do. That's when, that's when we'll do Fortuna. So we're getting double ATS buff there straight away. When it comes around to Reen, we're doing his strength buff. So from you. Hmm. Okay, I'm still going to end up with the same issue. So I'm going to say no for Fortuna there. Just because it, it doesn't make as much sense as other things that we could have with you. Because it's like if I could throw out. Just trying to think the speed of getting the buffs and stuff. So if I could have Chrono Drive on you, it's like your speed goes up. So I actually like, I prefer that over what we did have with you. Mm, it's like we need to put something else in there. Hmm. I like voice break, to be honest. So yeah, we'll go with that. Um, hmm. This thing, seeing as you've got slots here, it might make more sense to have that on you. Because I don't really use that that much, and Speed Breaker would be nice. So maybe actually, Chrono Drive makes more sense there. But again, we can get rid of that. I'm not, I'm not too too fussed about Septium anymore. So I'm just thinking, what could we actually put there? Golden Sphere. Hmm. Might be good. I mean, having that delay from a cast could be good as well. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Chrono Break. I'm gonna go Chrono Break. So again, we want something strengthy here, don't we? Really? It's that case of like, yeah, you you can throw out from here. La Forte. It's like, we, we, we got La Forte there, that's fine. Like, she can do the strength buff. So what else would I want? A break would be nice if I could have a break here as well. What breaks do we have? Do I have any breaks around? I'm thinking that just because of the strength. So again, we're back to the dilemma we had here. It's like... I like those two combined there. I'm thinking action two. I have everything here that we could lose. In terms of getting shining. No, not shining. Not shining. It's like, although I could just not. And just have him... Cast one again. But it's that sort of thing, I just want the speed on it all. I want to see if that works, that's the thing. Yeah, let's go for it, let's go for it. Right, so we spent enough messing around there, let's go. So, do we need that? Yeah. It's like just, just trying to balance stuff right now. You get the idea of what I'm doing, you get the idea of what I'm doing. Just trying to find a good setup <laughs> that'll work nicely for us. I should switch over to Laura on the... Everyone. Battle here. Because it would be like, right, at this point, Chrono Drive. Activate. My he turn. comes with the Chrono Drivers. Usus comes in with Noble now Command. We Don't have double ATS up so fast. Oh. Just having those extra turns very quickly could make all the difference in a place like this. Are you alright? <laughs> I suppose I should thank you. Okay. Okay, because then you come out with Fortuna. Boom, we've got our ATS sources. Yeah. Right. Then we come over to you. So what's best here? So it's like that's on self. It's like, hmm, strength on the others. It's, it's gotta be La Forte. Arcus activate! Is is the issue. Oh, you're going with that. I would have gone with a hit with you if I were you, mate, there. See there, it's like, we're buffed up as much as I want, already. Like, just boom, we're sorted. Just like, fantastic, so now we can do stuff like Gale. Second form, Gale! My turn. Indeed. And then Treasure Sword. Know your place! It's 
it's my turn. Ugh. I think I think I think that's a good plan at the moment. Probably shift and change it. It's just that sort of. Yeah, we're sort of getting a pattern there. It's it's it, it, it's something at least. Okay, so let's make up. Get stuck on stuff. I don't think I'll turbo here because I'll get stuck on things. Need to switch over to Laura, don't I? Like my I said, turn. your turn. Hey. Gonna be a lot of cutting out battles. This castle has no shortage of strange foes. Perhaps they really are. Good. We'll have to fight it would have been nice to hear him say the rest of that. Look, there's something over there. Seems to be some kind of pedestal. And there's some sort of orb sitting on it. I suspect this orb has the power to disable a barrier. Try to look at the symbols, because there's three of them on the outside edge. So, well, there don't seem to be symbols, actually. The symbol's in the middle, but there's three dots around it. Okay. So, can we use this to leave the castle? Hmm, I don't think so. Looks like this function a bit like keys. Each one has the power to dispel its corresponding barrier. And I don't think this is the one that goes with the barrier on the front door of the castle. Hmm, regardless. Seems we'll need to take it with us if we want to advance. Yellow warp. Okay, now we should be able to access another area of the castle. But you know, there's something else here I'm curious about. Yes, right in front of you. Wow, that's one huge door. Had my eye on it ever since we entered this room. Doesn't it look more than a little similar to the door on the fourth floor of the old schoolhouse? Right. Looks a lot like the red door that the giant armor was hidden behind. Hmm. I seldom visit the castle, so I'm afraid there's not much I can tell you. Come on, Emma. And there's always the possibility that the children might have gone inside. You should check it, just to be sure. It doesn't seem like it wants to open. Seems as steadfast as the wall around it, if not more so. That's true. Can't see any signs that the children might have got inside either. We should probably move on and check somewhere else then. Makes you wonder though. How did a door like this come to be in Lowen Green Castle to begin with? Even the patterns on it are like the ones on the door and in the old schoolhouse. Odd as it might seem, maybe they are connected somehow. We did theorize that the old schoolhouse may be connected to Emperor Dragals in some way. Since Santlam was Dragals foremost ally and close terms with him. Yeah, even before he became the Emperor. It's not implausible that there may be a connection there. Hmm. Well, whatever secrets this door may hold, it's a dead end right now. We should turn around and look elsewhere. Let's retrace our steps to the entrance hall of the castle. There should be a barrier somewhere that... We can use this orb to disable. Let's be on our way then. Alright, it's just, just very, very odd. I don't keep an eye on like these kind of symbols popping up. Nearly missed this chest. Oh, there seems to be a treasure chest here. Well, maybe you could have told me sooner. That would have been most helpful. Jeez. Like, like this white like turbo would be bad because 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 I'll fly up with no issue whatsoever and miss chests. Yeah, I'll be needing that. See, straight lines, fine. Curves, oof. See, look at all these symbols. Well, that should have disabled the barrier here. Hmm, what an unusual mechanism. This castle seems to an abundant supply of unusual things, to say nothing of those ghostly fiends prowling around. You just don't say the G word. Well, at least we should be able to push farther into the castle now. Maybe similar mechanisms elsewhere in the castle, so keep an eye out, everyone. Yes. Yeah, and it's that sort of thing of like trying to avoid things if I can. It saves me on editing as well, you know. Plus, then I could potentially... Use a the Shining Palm. Is ours. 
Just, just give me a little leg up. I'll handle this. In terms of things. All right, no, come on. Our chance. Don't let it pass. Leave it to me. Go through my this turn. quite fast because you know what I'm doing. Chrono drive. It's my turn. Or tuna. <laughs> right. I mean, I won't get any XP, so it's vanish. I'm not gonna do it. La forte. <sighs> Okay, yeah, can we get it on? Mm, nope. Second form. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. I'll handle this. Right. Huh? You still have a lot of training to Didn't do. stand a chance. Didn't stand a chance. Wherever that works on bosses, though. Yep. We'll see. We'll see. What's on the floor here? Hmm. There's got to be some meaning behind these things. Just always paying attention to this stuff now. Now, where do we need to go? That's the question. Hmm. So, I missed a chest already, so... But how did I miss this? It's like... It's right there. I don't... I don't even... I don't even... I think I meant, meant to go... This way later. I think. Let's get this chest at least. Well, we'll have a little gander. There seems to be a treasure chest here. Firebell. She's like, hmm. Well, maybe this is the right way. An external corridor. We must be on the north side of the castle. We've gone pretty <gasps> far inside now. I hope the children are safe. Let's take out this <gasps> alien monster. Let's get this over with. It clearly looks like an alien, doesn't it? Very well. Very well. Right, noble command. Now is our chance. Don't leave it to me. Here we go. Kind of drive. Uh, yeah. Fortuna. Uh, of course. If I just get in that pattern, that's what I'm doing here. Get that pattern going. Arcus, activate. Ha. Now. Go. Go. Gale. The second form. Gale. Okay. Crystal flood. Arcus, Not that it'll come turn. about, you know. Like at this point, treasure sword. Know your place. What a waste of time. Let's go. Lovely, lovely. That idea works. It works for now. Again. Yay, treasure! Yay! It's just, will it work in the long run? I don't know. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm experimenting, and that's part of the fun. See, there's where I need to go for that. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, it's that chest on the other side I need, isn't it? That's what I've missed. Oh, a treasure chest. Indeed. Katze. No idea if I'm saying that right. Right, now let's head down this ladder here. Left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand. <sighs> Nothing but trouble. I mean, well, what was wrong with that, Eusus? Just so so mean to Millie. Red or he doesn't have to be that mean, does he? Or does he? No, no, he doesn't. All right, so we know where to go with that because we've seen it several times. Hey! Smash the. Oh, I was gonna say these because, but I got EP charge too. Those are... This isn't good. I'm gonna chump you. It's Julian. Go away, you monsters. The great knight Julian will never forgive you if you hurt Kano. Uh, God, God, goddess. Please help us. Stand back. Laura? Thank goodness you're both safe. We're okay. 
more fiends, and they don't seem pleased that we robbed them of their quarry. We can do this, just don't let them near the children. Blow them all away, Lammy. Enemy sighted! Take them out! Here we go! Here we go! Kind of drive. We know what we're doing here now. We know what we're doing My here. Turn. So, oop. let's get the noble command going. Now is our chance. Don't let it pass. Under right. Understood. Ha. There's our double speedy buffs. That's a shame. Okay, so we could come in with a Fortuna. Argus, yes. My turn. So I'm thinking Gale. The second form, Gale. That's most of them sorted already. That's fantastic. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Of course. Huh. Yeah. Evil will fall before my blade. Lovely. All right. Looks like we took care of them. You're not hurt, are you? No, we're okay. That was so cool. You guys are all so strong. Just like the eyes in Ritter from the old stories. Considering their predicament, they don't seem to be any worse for wear. <laughs> well, as long as they're both unharmed. Actually... I think both of you have something to say. Huh? Um... Alright, thanks for saving us. That's not what I mean. You stole a boat and entered property that is off-limits to you without telling anyone where you were going. What do you think would have happened if we hadn't come looking for you? Who would have saved you? Do you have any idea how worried your parents and everyone else in town are about you? I... Aura. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you realize what you did was wrong, I have nothing further to say on the matter. Oh. I admire your bravery stepping forward to defend Kano like you did. But you're still young and inexperienced like I am. It's one thing to aspire to the qualities of a knight, but no good will come of rushing to that goal. Right, I'm sorry. Thank you for coming for us, everyone. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Try to be a little less reckless in the future, would you? You sis, are you actually embarrassed you got thanked by a kid? Hush, you impudent brat. <laughs> well, we found them and they're saved. That's a huge relief. Now all that's left is finding a way out of this castle. Hmm, come to think of it, we couldn't even enter this room until we disabled the barrier. So how did the two of you get inside? Um, when we first came in here, everything was normal. We were on our way to the top floor. But as soon as we came in here, suddenly there was this pale haze everywhere. Then these strange circles appeared on the door and we couldn't open it anymore. We didn't know what to do. So you ended up locked in. There doesn't seem to be any other access to this room either. Seems as though if we want to leave we'll have to deal with whatever's causing all of this. Surely there must be some way to disable the barrier on the front door. Hold on a moment. Emma? I can sense something coming from the top floor of the castle. A mysterious energy flowing out from there like a wellspring. What? You can sense something like that? Well, more or less, yes. That's about the only clue we have to go on right now. So we might as well go up and take a look around. Maybe it's me, but it almost feels like she's starting to be more forthcoming with her insights. What about the children? We can't just leave them here. Better just take them with us then. There are enough of us that will be able to keep them safe. No telling what kind of danger we'll run into, but it makes sense to bring them along so we can keep an eye on them. 
What do the two of you think? Would you prefer to stay with us? Uh, of course. I'd feel way safer with you guys. <laughs> Very well, then. Fine, fine. I suppose we'll take responsibility for your safety, then. Alright, let's head for the top floor, then. Let's have ourselves a look at the source of that mysterious energy Emma was talking about. Let's be on our way, then. Alright, let's get this. Oh, a treasure chest. That could be good. Good. I'm trying to avoid the enemies. This looks like... We've reached the uppermost floor. The bell tower is ahead. The energy source is nearby. Almost there. And this does mean this is where we're ending this part. So we'll see you in the next part. Ta-ta for now.